All right, guys, welcome back to Disco Elysium. We just randomly discovered this place. I don't know where I am, but I think I'm in this building that I tried to get into, but I couldn't. Um, I actually wanted to go to the house with the smoker, because that is in my to-do list to, f to uh, something something smoker. The smoker on the balcony, ask around for his apartment number. So maybe we can talk to this lady and uh, find out about the smoker's apartment number. Let's go, let's talk to this lady. Give me a moment. An elderly woman is leaning on her broom, her knuckles white as bone. She seems to be having difficulty breathing. Are you okay, ma'am? The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. <laughs> she sneezes into a dirty handkerchief. Are you right? Should I call a doctor? This won't take long, I only have a few questions. Are you right? I'm fine. Fine. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> mm. Okay. I was reading. She starts coughing. Red spots appear on her cheeks. I was I was worried she's like coughing up blood. But okay, it's just on her on her cheeks. So it's not blood, that's good. You're still worried. It's very worrying. It is. Now, what do you want from me, policeman? She's the cleaning lady. She knows the floor plan and the residence. Who are you? Who are you? I'm no one. Just an old woman who cleans these hallways. You live here? If you can call it living. I have a little room upstairs right next to the coal room. She spits on the floor before wiping it off with a broom. I was like, you're the cleaning lady, but you spit on the floor. Don't you have to clean that up? All right, she has a little room upstairs. It's barely bigger than a closet, but I don't complain, no. I have my bed and my aching bones to keep me company. And that's all I need from this world. Very modest, very modest. She hasn't spoken to anyone for a while. Even her sentences feel rusty. I'm looking for Martin Martinez. I have a few questions about those apartments. Oh, you'll find plenty of Martins here. Don't you worry. She smiles a gap-toothed smile when she hears you mention that name. What do you mean? I wasn't joking. No, you don't understand. I'm looking for a real person named Martin Martinez. He told me he's Martin Martinez. I wasn't joking. Pea brain. Someone played a trick on you. Martin Martinez is a name for anyone who comes from Martinez, like Jim Jamrock or Raoul Ravagel. Oof. I thought it was obvious. Anyway, officer, we don't have the witness's name. How about a young male in his mid-twenties, dark hair, skinny build, a smoke on the balcony, know where he lives? Yes, yes. I know who you mean. The scrawny boy who's always smoking like the devil. That's right? the one. She looks at the other end of the hallway. Uh-huh, okay. Somewhere in the building, a child starts crying. You hear a radio tuned to a talk show and someone taking a shower. Thin walls, huh? What's he in trouble for? No trouble, I just want to talk to him. Do you know where he lives? He's wanted for murder. He's going away for life. <laughs> no, I just want to talk to him. Talk? The cleaning lady starts laughing, but it turns into a violent coughing spasm. She squeezes her broom, trying to catch her breath. What was so funny about that? He lives upstairs in room 28. Go to the balcony. It's one of those doors there. He's usually home in the evening. Thank you. We should go check out his apartment on the balcony. See if he's home. I have a few questions about those apartments. Ask away, policeman. What can you tell me about Cindy? The artiste? Nothing I can do about her, I'm afraid. She ruins the walls faster than I can clean them. Still... Yes? She leaves an old lady to her business. More than I can say for others. Mm-hmm. The others are really annoying her, huh? Okay. That's all. She mumbles some kind of a response. Then hacks something into her handkerchief. Okay, thanks. I'm off. What's this? A note reads, foreclosed by Martinez Realty Associates. Balcony, alright. I want to look around before we do actually what we're supposed to do. 
I haven't figured out why some of these icons have different colors, like green, and yellow and stuff. I, I have to figure that out. Uh -huh. What's this? Someone has torn down the wall. Okay. The sea below looks cold in winter gray. Is that a mattress? What's here? Apartment 8. Their mailbox is overflowing. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe we go through this balcony first. Oh, we're up here. Okay. What's in this box? Maybe we can get some bottles out of here. Take all. What's with my thoughts? Ruination has come. The broken arches betray the once grand history of this building. It towered over the harbor until it happened. The colors represent the skill. Like yellow could be a perception or interfacing bubble. Aha, uh -huh. check the room again with the yellow mark before. Okay, I will. But right now, I, I don't think I'm going to make progress here, do I? Form a guess about what happened. A great force from the northeast fired into the city. Heavy artillery shelled the coastline, fired from the water, a straight shot into Revachol. Okay. The tenement acted as a defensive wall against the worst of the shelling until it was destroyed and they had a direct firing line. Taken the ocean. The waves of the Martinez Inlet rolled over the fallen remains of the building. The dark waters obscured the better part of the remains. What didn't fall into the ocean was used as scrap. What wasn't used as scrap was thrown into the ocean. Those arches acted as support for something greater than what you see now. Only three stories stand where nine to twelve once did. Restoration has failed. What the shelling took out was never rebuilt. A fleet, the combined armies of Occident and Grad, with Mesk volunteers, a five-nation army, Hundreds of vessels. They massed airships further down in the Bay of Revachol. The artillery was so powerful. The ships not only required gyroscopic stabilization, they were anchored into the ocean floor as well. Many are still there to this day. If you squint, you can just barely see the shadow on the water, far in the northeast. Cannons still ready to placate Revachol. Coalition warship Archer can shoot 50 shells a minute on 20 coal-lined archers. They will reach the city in 58 seconds. Hey Kim, do you know who shelled our city? The Coalition. But that was a long time ago. I think we should move on. It's chilly up here. Okay. He does not like talking politics of this kind. Mm -hmm. Probably for the best. Okay, we do have... Another level up. Nice. Ah, so these outlines always show these. So Motorix is yellow, Physique is red, Purple is Psyche, and Intellect is blue. Ah, okay. I really don't know where I should put things. Master Machines, pick locks and pockets. It would be cool if I could lo pick locks. So if I skill this, I will be able to run around and pick locks? Or do I need items for it as well? You can save for later so you can unlock a white check if you fail it to try again. Maybe I do save it, I don't know. What do we have here? Everything's fine, alright. I don't know why this was highlighted. Okay. Locate door 28 in the apartment building. Alright. But first, there's a bottle in here and it's gonna be mine. I want to go up here, too. <laughs> Above traps, tarps, flap in the wind, forgotten hammered, hammers and nails rust. <laughs> the door's locked, you can't get in. Hmm. The chair's new, someone lives back there. Oh, okay. 
Oh, goody. Okay, we came out of this door. Can we go through here? Coals? Is this how they're heating? Is this the heating system? Jeans? Electrochemistry and react- No, minus reaction speed. Pour l'homme laboureur jeans. Items gained! Somebody's living in here, maybe. Someone's been sleeping here recently. Cindy? Maybe Cindy sleeps in here. Maybe this is her house. Did you just take her pants? Enough coal to last for several winters. Smells of chemical- Really? This is not enough coals? That is bullshit. Have I opened this one already? So if I had the lock picking skill, maybe then I could open this? Though these jeans look worn, the wearer must have had an ass given to them by the mighty lord himself. A beautiful peach-shaped man ass has imprinted itself so deep in the fabric. Who can't but wonder if wearing them would start molding your own vague rear side into a more shapely form as well. Kinda wanna see how it looks like. <laughs> the back just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Savoir Flair Electrochemistry. And this one was... Also plus electrochemistry, but reaction speed. Hmm. Okay, let's run around new pants for a while. Oh, what's this? The pockets of these new jeans are perfect for sticking your hand into. Makes you look cool, calm, and collected. Mm -hmm. As your hand enters the pocket, your fingers brush against something. Soft, yet crinkly. Take him out. Hey. It's a chewing gum wrapper. Oh. It reminds you of the fruity juice of apricots. Uh-huh. You should inspect it closer if you have time. Something about the wrapper's texture is familiar. What? By the way, the raw materials were most likely exported from Seagai, the apricot suzerainty, and processed in Sir Le Clay into the apricot-flavored chewing gum loved by kids of today and yesterday. Mmm. Something about it is familiar, and not only to your fingers. Use an interact button to in inventory to inspect the item. A crinkled chewing gum wrapper. The worn label reads, Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti! It smells faintly of apricots, with a barely noticeable twinge of cinnamon. You feel compelled to point out that there's nothing fruity about cinnamon. It's a spice derived from tree bark. Yeah, cinnamon's not a fruit. Can a used wrapper shrug? Seems like that's what the wrapper is doing somehow. This is not about flowers or bark. What is this about? Why are you looking at this wrapper? Why do we even care about this? Good question. There is no answer or secret phrase written on the inside of the wrapper. Yet you're drawn to it. Drawn by regret. Stop before you hurt yourself with a Tutti Frutti wrapper. <laughs> Ow! Throw it away, please. <laughs> I'll hang on to it just in case. You carefully fold the wrapper into a square before putting it back into your pocket. Lovingly, even. Despite the strange feeling of regret. My Something is seriously wrong with my character. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save and I'm gonna put a point into the lock pick thing. Pick locks and pockets. I wanna level this up and then I want to see if I can now open this. That was kind of a waste. Pry bar is for opening containers. Oh, and I have to equip it. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe now I can. Oh, oh, and I got coin out of it. How sweet. Okay, thank you very much. I wasn't sure how this would work. I don't know if I should be running around with a pry bar. What, what, what kind of cop would I be? I mean, running around with a pry bar, a plastic bag, and rubber gloves in my hands. <laughs> it's not going to make me look any better, is it? I don't know if I should talk to... to was it Cindy? Any further? Ooh, the piggies have learned how to saunter up staircases. I didn't think you could do that with hooves. But here you are. That's right, we've evolved. You're in trouble now, little lady. The cops don't like closed doors or unreachable perches or people having high ground on us. 
We've evolved. Yeah, I can see that. Cool mutations. She crosses her arms. That smell coming from her paint bucket. It's not paint. It's heavy fuel oil. Is that heavy fuel oil? Red dyed heavy fuel oil intended for exclusive use in government vehicles, to be precise. He stares, studying the contents of Cindy's bucket. What did you think I was using? Aquarelles? Sucked it out of a cop's fuel tank myself. Back in Jamrock. She really did it. She's proud of it too. Fumes are bad for you, okay? You better hand it over. That's some clever culture commentary. You better hand it over. Oh, what? You'll push me off this ledge and pry the bucket from my dead hands. Is that bad in the coal room yours? Ooh. Not only have you found my address, you've discovered my biggest secret. I'm a coal miner. Really, you're a miner? Don't you have a real home? It's not the nicest place, but I guess it'll have to do. Cool, I have other questions. Don't you have a real home? Does anyone in a city like this? She replies wistfully, looking around. I guess it'll do. It doesn't have to do anything at all. Nothing does. Like me. Right now, I'm doing nothing at all. She looks at the pain dripping down the wall. Cool, I have other questions. Shoot, piggy. It's what you do, isn't it? Okay, catch you later, Cindy. All right, let's go back inside. And then maybe we can go back to this one room here. There's nothing that I can interact with. Look at the wall carefully. This one? I, I can go there again. I mean, I can't, I literally can't interact with anything anymore. So I don't know, maybe it's a feature, the big hole. You can walk through there. I can't. Oh, I can. Oh my God, that was nasty though. Like literally, it was a teeny tiny place where I could click on. <laughs> An old grocery list on the table and checks. What happened here? You can foreclose on an apartment with a hole in the wall. This looks so sad. Put your emotions aside. Try to focus on abstract, impersonal things. I hurt my morale, oh no! But this reeks of sadness. You can't foreclose an apartment with it a hole in the wall. It will still be accessible through the apartment next to it. That one didn't have a door. Sadly, nothing of great value remains here. Except the stuff in the fridge. There's always a little something in the fridge. Indeed. Uh huh. Money gained. And one of those healing items. I tried clicking through on this thing, you know? To be honest, in my, in my defense, what I thought is that this wall here, here was, this is like some kind of plank that is over this wall and I thought I couldn't go there. And I tried, you know, I was I was looking at it earlier, but for some reason, brain was freezing. So what's in here? Just taking the money from people here. I kind of feel bad about this. The door number nine is locked. What's this? Postcard, Boogie Street, forty-six. Prize. Item gained. This crumbled up postcard depicts an open air market in Boogie Street, roughly five years ago. A vendor smiles as dead roosters line his stalls. Hung by their feet from canopy, red blood flows onto the muddy street. Blurry shadows of people pass. What the heck? This is creepy. That is a postcard? What the fuck? <laughs> you hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. I don't have a reason to knock on everybody's doors now, so I won't do that. This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn number on the board says number 11. Examine the padlock. It's a solid lump of metal, but the shackle is deeply corroded. A solid pair of chain cutters would make short work of it. Better whip out those cutters. You won't get very far otherwise. 
Use the chain cutters to cut through the padlock. Tools not in hand. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna save though. Because I might I might mess things up. Oh, I can't save now? Why can I not save? No, I can save. Okay. Uh, tools. Chain cutters. And then... This door has been closed with a padlock. 58. The drawn number Let's try. The board. What are you Oh, doing? no. You're trying to cut the body of the lock with the chain cutters. And it's really not working. <laughs> he was trying to cut the body of it. Oh my god. Why is my character so stupid? I believe it's the shackle you mean to cut, detective. Yeah. The lieutenant points to the corroded lube with a gloved finger. He's just trying to help. Don't take it. Bad. Relax. Don't you think that's what I'm trying to do? These chain cutters are broken, Kim. <laughs> this is what I was trying to do, but my head is stupid. Perhaps you should give it another go. Oh, now I can. Kim pointed out the shackle. <laughs> Kim, this is so stupid. The shackle snaps like a twig <laughs> and the lock falls to the floor with a little thud. It should be possible to enter now. After you, detective. What would I do without you, Kim? Someone has drawn a five-pointed star on the wall. <gasps> Maybe some s satanic stuff happens in here. Actually, a cute little room. What is this, though? A flamboyant po poster of a white star. Real lithography? A plaster cast bust depicts a middle aged man with impressive sideburns. The name on the plinth reads Kras Mazov. Kras Mazov, nom de guerre, was an economist and a theoretical historian. He was a leading figure in the Grad side of the turn of the century revolution, where he headed the nine day government. Mazov is considered the father of scientific communism, Mazovian thought, or Mazovianism. Why does this tenant have a bust of Kras Mazov in their bedroom? The White Star, the photos on the wall. I think we have broken into the apartment of a young communard. How fitting. He looks around before mumbling to himself. Photos of revolutionaries posing with guns. Books of a critical theory on the monstrosities of capital and such. <laughs> All right. I hope that was. Oh, wait, what's this? Uh, a bullet and a serum mir. Uh, <laughs> ounce jacket. I swear I can talk. Revolutionaries love to pose with their guns. Okay, that's my thoughts, really. All right. That isn't just a five-pointed star. It's an inverted white pentagram cradled in a wreath of antlers. The iconography of communism, in other words. Look out, Kim. There are communists around here. I'll keep my armistice handy, detective. Good. He doesn't actually reach for his gun. The, the star and antlers was developed in the sixth decade of the last century and quickly adopted by Mezov and the Communards during the revolution. Even today, half a century after, the star and antlers retains the ability to evoke hope, disappointment and fear in equal measure. Why is the star upside down? What's the deal with the antlers? Why white? What does it evoke in me? Nothing at all yet. Right now, it's just meaningless shapes on a wall. Okay. I like the music. This box is filled with cleaning chemicals, smells of laundry detergent. Kim, could you go out there because I want to click on, on this? Flip up glasses, the auditor. Less authority, but plus logic. <laughs> My authority is completely wacko anyways. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> Should I be wearing this? Conceptualization. What am I wearing right now? Less suggestion. Hmm. 
Oh wait, that was a jacket. What is this one doing? Esprit de corps. I don't know what Esprit de corps is, really. Esprit... Hit this. Connect to Station 41, understand cop culture. Uh, it's not gonna work, is it? Look at me, looking all fancy and stuff. Eviction notices and missing pets are plastered on top of each other. What's this? An old shoe rack, boots, sneakers, and old slippers. Apartment 12, a loud rumbling snore comes from within. These shower curtains are covered in some sort of slime. Ugh. Money! <laughs> I'm broke as hell, so I need, I need to value every piece of coin that I can get. Nope, stop. Oh wait, I have a thought, I have a thought, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, these shoes come in three different sizes. Okay, so maybe there's three people living in that apartment? There's another balcony here. <clears throat> the breaker box is full of cigarette butts and electric wires. Hey, we're at the right balcony though. Interesting. Uh -huh. I don't know if I should be here already. Oh wait, what's this? Money, 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 money. Ooh. What's that? Oh, nice. More money. Guys, I have 1608 real already. Just a door. Nothing for you here right now. Right now. What's this? Maybe that'll change. Can I get up here? There's stuff up here, I want to get it. Okay, can I... Is this a stair up here? Oh yeah, it is, okay. Someone's growing rosemary, thyme, and a cactus. Oh, that's a weird combination. This door is made of metal and appears to be reinforced. Someone here really values their security. 28. Number 28. This is where the cleaning lady said the smoker on the balcony lives. Let's see if anyone's home. No. Not yet. Complete silence wherever lives there isn't home. I want to look around everywhere first. This is the door to apartment 30. Voices from within singing along to some buoyant dance track. All right. I just wanted to make sure I checked everything. Let's see if no one answers. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think our best chance to catch him is in the evening. It is over 6 p.m. We should return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? What do you mean? The smoker on the balcony. This is why we are here, right? He might know something about the murder. So tomorrow 9 p.m.? Suddenly, he's a little worried about your memory. No, I'm not th this. Ooh. Don't worry. It's mostly all still here. You can remember things. You got this. That's not what I meant. But I don't. I don't understand. It's 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 evening now. Why don't we? Why why don't we? This makes no sense. Sounds good tomorrow. Tomorrow, nine p.m. Right here, apartment number twenty-eight. He writes it Good. down into let's his little go. notebook. Good, let's go. Remember, tomorrow, he's probably gone for today. Probably. Smoke on the balcony, visit apartment 29 sometime after 9 p.m. to see if anyone's home. White tank top, physical instrument, work it. Gym vest, reeking of sweat. The sleeveless shirt is the best choice if you're not afraid to show of your masculine upper body and that hairy chest. <laughs> Ah, great. Physical instrument, nice. 
Okay, so that leaves us with the question, what else can we do? How do I get up here? Maybe if I go back into the building? Or maybe I can pry this open? Darn it! Okay. Then I don't know. Mm, we could go down here. The exit. Uh -huh. And what's this? Have I tried going down there yet? Okay, how do I... The last conversation with Kuno gave you a hint where to look at. At the greenhouse. Just a closed door, but you look at it suspiciously. I don't think I can interact with this bloody greenhouse. Unless maybe from the other side, but it looks like here is a door. As Kuno again. Oh god, this bloody kid. <laughs> X is a harbor. I can't. I don't know how. I'm, I'm pretty stuck. I just saw the footsteps. This thing? An inconspicuous pile. Of the roofing material, eat tonight. Okay, let's leave. Save. An inconspicuous pile. I'll try of this. Because it's nice and orderly. Well laid, it reveals Again? no secrets at this time. Okay. I can't go in here. This is also where I would like to go, but I don't know how to get into this. So I have to load and try again? Or put points into a into, uh, perception? Might not be a bad idea. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material. Because Yay. there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of Etonite. That's why they're too orderly. Pull the panels aside. There it is. You see a shabby little door. <laughs> All right, gained experience. What is this then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Let's investigate. Nice. What's this? Money. The poster says get out of the way or get fucked up. Oh, is this Kuno's house? <laughs> A silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. My brain is excited. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. There's a good vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. Someone has taken narcotics here. Perhaps the police should interfere. I wasn't thinking about taking it, I swear. I was thinking about justice. I've heard amphetamines make you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective? <laughs> Someone has taken narcotics here. Perhaps not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However... He points to the letter in the corner. See that letter there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? A secret path the local kids use. Ooh. Maybe. What's with a pig, though? Cured pig's head. It looks mummified. Oh, that's from a real pig? Ugh. Yikes. An empty tube of magnosolum, magnesium supplement. All right. Climb, 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 climb. Oh, we're up here! What jacket is that? Whose jacket is that? Can I take that jacket? Oh, where are we going? Oh, 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 we're up here! Awesome sauce! What's this? Rest 
Restoration pillars keep the runes together. Together. This doorway is going to collapse soon. Oh, hopefully not while I'm here. What's this? Postcard. Grand court. Mm -hmm. Okay. Item gain. Sweet. And some coins. More money. Okay, I can't reach this from there. Good to know. Now, how do we get up here? Faster, faster! And more health. How many healing thingies can I carry with me? Wait, can I? Oh, I can go all the way up here. Oh, and then can I maybe... Ooh. Oh, oh, my... What's going on here? Is this normal? <laughs> And more money. Huh. Can I not jump over there? That would be so great if I could just jump over there. I see a way there right now, sadly. I thought maybe you could jump over. It doesn't look too high. Look at the... what? Oh, do I... oh. Okay, apparently I can look at the... <laughs> at the cloak or whatever it is when I'm up here. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. Look, Lieutenant, point to the flapping cloak. Someone left his cloak behind. Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. He judges the drop. Ex I'm sorry? You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. Look around. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance over the container yard. Oh boy. The look in his eyes is a mix of the engineer-like interest and the wonder of a six-year-old seeing a horse for the first time. Motherfucker, let out a whistle now. That's a huge crane. <laughs> It's just a machine attendant, like a giant hammer or a pair of pliers. Nothing to see here. Let him have his moment of wonder. That is a huge crate! Yes, that's one way of putting it. It's certainly an impressive achievement of engineering. <laughs> but I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. He looks at the sad piece of fabric flapping in the wind. What exactly are we doing up here? Do you really think this cloak is mine? Should I go f for a jump? This is a white check, you may retry it. Go for the cloak, jump over the ledge. Not right now. Let's see if I can equip a few things. This is minus one, actually. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna say, do you think I should go for a jump? Maybe he's giving me some information that makes my jumping better or something. The cloak? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it, he looks over the ledge at the cold pavement below. Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meter stops. Whenever you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. The cloak looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Who knows what its pockets may hide. What exactly are we doing up here? I was under the assumption we could ask the leader of this union to help us get this body down. This is why we're here, right? He doesn't wait for your answer. Or it could be that we are just exploring. He looks around, wind rustling his hair. He's thinking you've forgotten where you are again. Oh yeah, let's try this, but I have 8%. The, 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 I'm so gonna... Shoes give minus one. Oh, okay. Oh, we have another level up. But let's take off the shoes. Maybe now? A tarpaulin cloak is still caught on the railing. 17. No one has claimed it for their own. Hang on, we save. Click on it. A tarpaulin we try is still and we fail. The railing. No one has claimed it for their own. I failed. No, no. That's still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast. You're a boxer. And you've climbed way too high up here. 
Okay. That's high. It doesn't seem dangerous. The lieutenant must be crazy to suggest that there's a certain death. Vertigo almost pushes you over the edge. You could have died there. Shit, 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 shit. I'm failing you. This wasn't part of our deal. Oh. I got you, I got you, Bratan. Let me just adjust your breathing a little bit. There. Isn't that better? Tug on your tie. God, now I can't breathe at all. Stop doing this to me, necktie. You were supposed to be a friend. Hey. Hey. What's happening? You okay? He sounds genuinely worried. I'm alright, Kim. I just keep tugging your tie. I can't breathe. It's okay. You're just having a little panic attack. Try to breathe as slowly as you can, alright? He shakes you gently by the shoulder. The necktie lets go a little. Its vicious grip easing around your neck. Colors return to the world around you. Thanks. I think it's working. Good. We can always come back when you are feeling better. It's just a cloak after all. Was it savoir faire that I needed? I got a lucky roll on this jump. Also had a slow savoir faire, but fortune favored me. All right, let's level this up then. Okay. But now, would I be able to do it now? Policeman cloak, this one. Okay. A tarpaulin cloak is still caught on the race. This is <laughs> super no low, though. It. Oh my god. Okay, we can try it again, guys, but my, my chances are low as hell. Maybe. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, stop. Should I heal first? Heal morale? Should I always heal all the way up with these? I don't really know. Keep it at least at two bars? No, unless you're about to die, there's no point. After sleeping, it's full. Okay, thank you. Guys, let's try this jumping thing again. The cloak is still caught on the railing. No one has claimed it for their own. You can do this! Nope. Not again. Nope. No. That's still too high. Sure. Just be careful, okay? Looks like you almost strained a muscle there. Uh, okay. I love how we just take damage for an attempt. Yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? So, do I, do I have the... Okay, I skilled... A tarpaulin cloak is still caught on the railing. Come on, you can no do one it! Has claimed it for their Raphael, own. or whatever your name is. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Failed again. You gotta be lucky at some point, right? Go, 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 go! Oh my god! Okay, um, I guess I we call that a defeat, huh? I've been defeated. This cloak has to stay up there for a little bit longer, I guess. We could try talking to Kuno again. This bloody brat. He knows something. I just don't know how to get it oh, out of does him. Does Kuno care? I found your shack. Point to the shack. You found Kuno's secret door to Kuno's secret shack. It was closed for 5,000 years. How the fuck did you get in? I pushed the panels aside, Kuno. I face shifted through the roofing material. Before we go on with... That. Let's talk about how you said it was just some roofing material, some gims left behind. That was a lie. Pig, that's the past. You and Kuno, and now <laughs> let's talk about how you opened the secret door, fucking a Kuno's kingdom. I pushed the panels aside. I face shifted. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that, Kuno. He's trying to fuck at you again. Yeah. Pigs can't displace. Can't do that teleport shit. He says to himself, then turns to you. How did you like it in there, pig old boy? Kuno's got a lot of cool shit there, right? What's that? What was with a pig head? Oh, that. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. This kid is disturbing and disturbed. Were you trying to send me a message of some sort? Demo tape? Like some kind of a musician? <laughs> yeah. Kuno plays on snuff radio. Fucks pigs. Live. Fucks their heads off. Kuno's a cop killer. So are you, are you are you saying you killed this guy? I don't know. I found a plate covered with powder residue. Know anything about it? That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. <laughs> Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. <laughs> Bet you'd like to ride the lightning too, wouldn't you? No. You feel tired and old, but you could have that sparkle in your eyes. What's with a tube of magnesolin, Kuno? It's a vitamin, pig. Don't you know anything? He looks at you like you just pointed at the sun and asked what it was. You could use some. It's magnesium, right? Yeah, it's the mag. 
Do you fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game? Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mag like a motherfucker, and you could use a bottle? <laughs> What's your language, kid? Oh, don't teach him, Kuno! He's gonna use it against you, Kuno! I know a lot about magnesium. I rock it all the time. Come on, it's just magnesium. Don't mystify it. I rock it all the time, kid. You're not getting this, pig. It completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. He looks at you, eyes bulging. Fuck you, pig. Don't do mag. You're gonna OD and you're gonna fucking die. Is that my coat up there? I'm pretty sure it's mine. Point at your coat. Is it? You got pretty fucked. Kuno surprised you've still got your head after all that. After all what? Don't sweat it, drunk pig. Kuno will keep your nasty secrets. Kuno's not snitching. I want to... Can you tell my secrets to to me? He's saying you climbed up there. He probably saw you do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that conclusively explains how the coat got up there. Could I get into the harbor from the roof? Of course you fucking can. How do you think Kuno made all the docky boys his gimps? Just got a fly pig. I tried that. I didn't go so well. Kuno knows. Kuno and C saw you shit yourself. It's okay, pig. Not everyone can face the fear, Kuno style. Oh, man. That's all there is to it, then. Don't be a pansy. Just jump. Yeah, I've heard enough of this. Good call, Pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. <gasps> Pigmeister. I talked to the gardener. She said not to listen to you. I want to discuss the body with you again, Kuno. Let's talk about your check again. I think we talked about everything, right? Maybe the body again? The fuck about it? Where's the rest of his armor? Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. How come? Kuno's fuck has got one big thing wrong with him. He's a fucking mutant. A mutant? Look at him. Fucking growth hormone shit. He's a giant. The armor's too big for any man. Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw that shit away. You threw it away. He drills his temples with his fingers in some strange aggressive gesture. So... He says, this guy, the body is too big, so no man can use it. But the bigger ones in the harbor, there are a few giants, right? What do you mean you threw it away? Kuno tried to get the helmet on. It was too big. He performs a kick off on the imaginary helmet. <laughs> Kuno kicked that shit in the sea, rugby style. That shit means nothing to Kuno. You threw it in the sea. Yeah, that shit means nothing to Kuno. Kuno doesn't give a shit about material shit. Kuno's a fucking monk. <laughs> this guy is pure gold. He is so odd. You want to fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck the mustached union fuck. The jolly troubadour shit at the gate. What do you mean troubadour? Yeah, cocking boot. You know that jolly union cow fucker? Came around talking about cows or some shit. Came around pretending like he cares about cows. Cows? Yes, you met him at the gates. The one with the boots and the jolly smile. You mean Manana? Yeah, he's the one you want to talk to. He's fucking crazy about that armor shit. Coming here pretending like he likes cows. Trying to catch a peep at Kuno's armor. Curious, my liege. Why did Kuno feed you this information? And you're just telling me this out of the kindness of your heart, Kuno? Yeah, Kuno's doing charity today. Thanks. Kuno day. Kuno feels sorry for you two loser pigs. Kuno's doing pity now. Still, seems suspicious. <laughs> he may have it in for that guy. Or you may be paranoid. That is also a possibility, sire. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Yeah. Sorry, Kuno. Get lost, f I don't know if I should... Maybe I should say this. Maybe not. Let's see. Pig, do you have any idea how fucking stupid that sounds? Kuno's cruising his bitch on the town, and the bitch comes back griefing to the Kuno. What is up with that? <laughs> Morale critical. Hear yourself now. Get the fuck out of here, fat ass. Those pants are too small for you. Okay, I'm off. Bye. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Okay, bye, Kuno. Okay, where's the rest of the armor? Go to the harbor gates. Ask the Jolly Mask about the armor. The Jolly Mask. Damn it, I don't remem remember that guy. I wonder if if I would try jumping again now, if maybe if my character could do it then. The jolly mask. My kid was very hostile. 
Is it this fella? Ah. And have I looked in here? Okay. Is that the f the person? Things I've seen and said. Okay, probably not. We had we had these two. Is there another person? Down here maybe? Oh no, we could try to get in there, could we? Wait, so what's what's there? Roy's pawn shop fast cash for faster times. Ooh, maybe we could sell some things. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's lots to do in here. Mostly military wear with a few more eccentric fashions thrown in. A typical Martinez streetlight sits among assorted floor and table lamps. Let your gaze run over the street light. Is that a street light? Where did you get this? How much for the street light? There's nothing else you need to know about the light. The light pole hmm. has been carefully cut and the wiring has been redone and attached to a standard indoor plug. The light buzzes faintly, but persistently. This would make quite a statement in your living room. Hmm. The boom boxes on the shelf look well loved and well traveled. Chipped, dented, they stare at you with the unblinking eyes of their tape reels. Stand the tips of your toes to see more. One especially catches your eye. Deep gold and amber plastic with a big old handle on top. A classic boom box that says Stereo 8 approved. This is you. Gold and orange. A sunset suite. <laughs> Just okay. make sure it works before you buy it. Shopkeep, the Steer 8 approved machine here. What I really want to know is, could this device come handy in my police work? Are you sure this is all in working order? That's all. I don't know. Maybe this is something about the, about the karaoke stuff? I don't know. Maybe I will find a cassette tape in here somewhere. A bust of a woman. The plaque simply says, die. Date. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback, others in rags, others yet in bright blue uniforms. All are stern and unyielding in their duty. Try to find something pretty and cool here, then use it to win her back. Manana is Spanish for morning, ah, oh, okay. Win her back? Yes. Buy something nice. A figurine. No. Inspect the knights on horseback, inspect the blue uniforms, inspect the figurines and racks. Dig up a truly cool figurine in the box under the table. Everything you pick out seems faded, chipped, and sad somehow. Most of them are just broken toys. Okay, step away. What's this? In the dark, a film projector is whirring away. What's here? Some kind of machine, antique cash register. Hmm. Okay, can we talk to this fella? It's not often that I see officers from the RCM in my pawn shop. The man at the counter turns to you slowly. What can I do for you? He asks. His courtesy is not insincere, but he prefers being alone with his projector, just watching the movement of light across the walls of the shop. Sorry, I feel like I'm interrupting you. Shake your head. I'm not saying sorry. Shake your head. It's shameful how insufficient the police rep presents presence is in these parts. Now that the RCM is here, tell me, have you had any trouble lately? I haven't had any problems myself, though some of my customers have complained about inconsistent law enforcement. How so? Who are your customers usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, travelers, People looking for a deal. People looking for a keepsake. People who are terminally bored. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. 
Not quite a collection indeed, look around. Typical vacuous com consumerist objects. Honestly, I think some of your selections are, press your finger to your lips, more tasteful than others. This business plan is all over the place. You should specialize, zoom in, recapitalize. Quite the collection indeed. It keeps me entertained. His attention is drawn once more to the play of light and shadow on the walls behind you. Is Roy high? And if yes, then what is he on? I wish I could change my clothes now, but I can't. You might be able to aid our investigation. By the way, do you happen to have any guns? Like the ones carrying by officers of the citizen militia? I have other business to take care of now. Hmm, you might be able to help. I doubt it, but I can try and answer any questions you may have. You know anything about the recent hanging? I do my best to keep my distance from all manner of butchery. Bad for business, bad for everyone. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know anything. Think you to help me get a corpse out of a tree? The corpse behind the hostel, I show. No, the I other one. I don't have a truck with a mounted platform or anything of that sort myself. I don't have a truck with a mounted platform. Mm -hmm. Ask around the harbor. There might be some workers there who'd be willing to help. Actually, that's all the I've got. The pawnbroker's gaze is already fixed on the dancing colors. There's something I'd like to sell. Ooh. Let me have a look. I'd like to sell my clothes. I have a fascinating photo of a corpse here. Show him the photo. I'll check my boxes. Ask your pawn menu. Don't... Anything else you're thinking of selling? The postcard? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we made a little bit of coin. Nice. Clothes. A fascinating photo of corpse. Like to sell my clothes. I don't have anything to sell at the moment Another anymore. time, perhaps. Do you happen to have any guns? Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. I pawned my gun? This is a pawn shop, and it did feel as if you've met before. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm losing a lot of morale today. The lieutenant shifts from one foot to another. Alert. Wait, I sold you my gun? Was the buyer police meant to? I sold you my gun. You... Uh... You were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. Said you were undeserving of a service weapon of the Revachol citizens' militia. Ah, God. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts, photon emissions. The unhealthy kind. Mm -hmm. He's not telling you the whole story. It seems he's trying to spare you. I feel like there's something you're not telling me. Probably has a good reason for that. Drop the matter. No, no. You weren't quiet yourself, officer. What was I like? You were very distraught. You said the gun was a threat to your life and that you can't trust yourself with it tonight and that you need the money. Mm-hmm. When I said that I don't normally buy firearms, you put the gun barrel in your mouth and sort of sucked on it. Then I agreed to take it. No words. Uh, how much did I sell the gun for? Fifteen Rael. The lieutenant looks from you to Roy and then back to you. It's clear that he hopes this tableau might still turn out to be a bad dream. It's not, though. I still hope the same thing, though. This has got to be the most. Wow. There's pity there, too. In case you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Happens to the best of us, I guess. I really should have killed myself. Maybe I still will one of these days. I'm sorry you had to see me in that state. We don't have to talk about it any further. No apologies necessary, officer. Was the buyer policeman too? She didn't seem like a policeman. A woman. Although she kept referring to herself as a pig, which was odd. I found her interest in the gun a bit obsessive, but I was just happy to get rid of it and of her. So, pig, that could be Cindy or Kuness. Truth be told, she was terrifying. Right, so... Let me get this right. You sold your sidearm, issued by the citizens' militia, and now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with it? Miraculously. 
His face does not reveal what's happening inside. There's only one explanation. She must be one of my rabbit fans. <laughs> Maybe she's a vigilante. Wants to prove she can do our jobs better than we can. I don't like it either. What if she intends to commit a crime and blame it on the citizens' militia? You're right that she could cast aspersions on the force. We have to find out. He looks around worried. Any ideas where I can find this buyer? My apologies, officer. But I have no idea where she was coming from or where she went. Oh, God. A needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it now. You just have to hope you luck upon her somehow. At least now I know how I lost my sight. I'm gonna talk about something else. Of course. I wanted to ask about my uh, missing gun again. I have other business to take care of. Let's, let's try this. My chances are low, but what do I have to lose, right? Also, it's a white check. I can, I can look at it again later. Okay. He definitely is high. Whatever it is, you've probably done it. And many other things besides. But you can't cut through the jumble of sensations to get to the answer. Okay. Looking at his weirs, talking to him, that might give you more clues. A guarded man like him wouldn't tell you if you asked out loud. I have other business. Okay, I think we're done here, so let's leave. I mean, two people, female, call us pig, right? Cindy, the skull, or however she called herself. Kunis. I have a feeling he wouldn't sell the the gun to a kid to a minor. Cindy looks like she's an adult though. So maybe we just go to Cindy? So how do we get to Cindy again? I could probably sell some of the plastic stuff that I have in the tear machine. Maybe do that guys. Alright, tear machine, let's go. I don't think I have too much, but the tear machine stands in the corner. Your bottles clunk into the machine. And wow. the money appears with a satisf- Sorry, we already listened to that, so... Maybe we can talk to her again? Anything new? Um, is this about the questions again? Because Does... I don't really know anything. Ah, I remember, yeah. Does Fritz have a warehouse in the back of the whirling in rags? A warehouse? I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care what Fritz does. Come on, give me something to work with here. She looks up from under her brow. Fine. Frit doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here. Okay? Okay. She turns back to her magazine without waiting for you to respond. What's this? A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. There, in that dark green glass. All in vain. No, no, no. The great flowing river of warmth. No! Wine, no, alcohol. No, no, no! Beer, alcohol. Love, alcohol. Love, alcohol? I'm in heaven. I need it all so bad. Say nothing, just take it in. This is not a good place for a recovering addict. Not right now. No, I refuse. I won't allow it. Also, by the way, I'm still running around without my shoes. <laughs> ah, that's great. Oh, electrochemistry. Get stuck. Oh, wait, what does this do again? Interfacing. Hmm. Maybe if I would try again now, if I would talk to the to the guy, do I have anything else that is improving my electric? Ooh, electric. And maybe this will help me too. All right, sorry, ma'am, that I just changed clothes right in front of you. Track down your gun. Keep looking. Maybe someone else knows something. Okay. Manana. Who are they talking about? Well is there anybody talking about cows in here? I forgot. I kind of want to go and talk to Cindy because I have a feeling she bought the gun and she calls me pig all the time. But, you know what? Now that I have two items that give me plus one electrochemistry, maybe we can talk and investigate the guy again. I don't know, maybe, maybe now we can figure out if he has... if he's on drugs or anything. How Not can I help up. you? Okay, never mind. So you have to level it up with a skill point, otherwise you can't, even though you get the clothes. Hmm, okay. Cindy, the skull. Hmm. How do I get to her again? 
I haven't really been into the bookstore yet, I think. Yeah, all right, let's save and talk to her. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? Yes. Sorry, were you looking? Ah, damn it. Okay, I thought maybe I can ask her about my, my weapon. Darn it. Okay, then I don't know. It cannot be Kuness, right? Impossible. I hope it's not Kuness. Please, no. Not this bloody brat, but we can try, right? Nothing to lose. Okay, that's not gonna work. <sighs> With this map, I see where I need to go, what I need to do, and what skill I need to have. And right now, how it's gonna be. Right, right now, this is challenging. This one is impossible right now. Empathy, legendary. You need to have legendary empathy to to figure out Kuno. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to make it my mission for this run, for this playthrough, to have legendary empathy just so I understand bloody Kuno. Oh, hang on. What are my thoughts here? The book is titled Man from Helmdal and the Wild Fire. Have I been in here? Have I at all? I don't think I have. Okay, let's look at everything first. Gift books and molten candy. The display rack is brimming with worn paperbacks featuring an extremely muscular, sword-wielding barbarian on the cover. Nearly all the titles contain the word Hyamdal somewhere. Storekeep, tell me about the Muscle Man books. Oh, Man from Hyamdal. A very popular series of adventure novels. They're awfully immoral and violent books. Nice. Why they're so popular? Blood and violence, scantily clad women, Epic narratives, all those mystical things he encounters, they're bound to grab those with little imagination and nothing to do. Sounds good. Which one should I start with? That doesn't sound like something I'd be interested in. That sounds like something I would love. What does it matter? They're all the same. She rolled her eyes. However, the customer is always right, they say. If you're a novice of the series, I'd recommend Hjelmdalaman, the man from Hjelmdal. It's supposed to be a good introduction to the series. Mm-hmm. Let's look through it. Rows and rows of Hiem Dalamen blur your vision. You make out some titles. Man from Hiemdal and the Mammoth Riders. Man from Hiemdal, Return to Hiemdal. And the Solipsistic, Man from Hiemdal and the Hiemdal Man. Those titles, those are really good. Good God, how many are there? Maybe a hundred. Man from Hyamdal and the sages at the end of the world. <laughs> Man from Hyamdal and the false god. Man from Hyamdal and the scorched earth. Man from Hyamdal, the Hyamdal colonies. Man from Hyamdal and the swamp beast. Man from Hyamdal and the snow crabs. Is it all? Not even close. Oh boy. Man from Hyamdal in hell. Man from Hyamdal. And the forest of it slaves. Goes on and on and Man on. Man from Hyamdal under the lake. Man from Hyamdal. Hyamdal burning. There's even the trial of death, a pastoral combat game book set in the world of Hyamdalaman, and so much and more. And so much more. Pain threshold. Do any of the books call out to me? Let's go. Nothing of interest. Only silence and the cosmic background pain radiation. Okay, let's see. What's this? I have to say that Kim has the patience of a saint. Old sports magazines tucked away in the dark corner. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by we're our related merchandise. Storekeep, what board games do you have here? Wonderful board games, sir. The Viticulturist is a classic for sure. Or perhaps you'd like Archipelagos of Insulinda, a very educational game for those interested in geography. 
Browbritter is a fun game of economic competition but can get quite intense after a while. We have games for the whole family. You can play with your children. I don't have children, I think. Who are you going to play board games with? Do you have friends or family? Wow, I have children and family? Do I have friends? Look at the lieutenant. I don't want to think about this. I don't want to think about then this. don't. Look at me. Who would want to have children with me? I don't feel as if I have any kids. Yes, kids, friends, chicks. I have all, <laughs> I have all those. <laughs> I don't feel as if I have any kids. Friends are technically like family. She fiddles with a pendant thinking. For playing with friends, I'd recommend Suzerainity. It's a civilization building game where you build a civilization, then set off to brutally colonize and repress other civilizations. It'll cost 12 real. So what about all those we're all things? Lousy auras there. No, role-playing games are popular among those types. You know, who are into those kind of things. Personally, I don't like it. Not at all. Not me playing a role-playing game right now. <laughs> I've heard they turn people into occult enthusiasts. That they have rituals where they try to summon entities. Highly immoral stuff. You can still buy them, though. She looks at the table, crossing her arms. I excuse me, ma'am. Looks at the pile of related items. An endless variety of source books, law books, and codices litter the table. The topmost book is titled Welkin Compendium, second edition. Okay. There's also a large hardbound tome with intricate cover art, The Hunters of Catawack, Boreal Creature Compendium, and a Pick Your Path adventure game book titled Tales of Wirral, Cavern of Velcrag. Books in a board game section? Who wants to read books? Anything that really catches my eye? There's a box that says Wirral, third edition mega setting supplements module. The side panel notes a fantastic adventure board game, new maps and miniatures. A sticker on it displays 25 real. That price is steep. But then it's the third edition mega set in supplement. So it makes sense. I don't want to buy any of these things. I mean, what am I going to do with it? Um, maybe, maybe for later. Now I have the knowledge that there are those rule books. The books collect the national recipes of Arda. They are all about lake trout. Lovely. Let me go here. What's behind this? You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Shopkeeper, what's behind the curtains? Examine this strange cage-like trinket. Nothing. Now please go back to browsing the books. Don't you feel compelled to look at the books? The books are all you care about. Are you trying to manipulate me? She speaks almost as if she's trying to put a spell on yeah. you. Urging you to buy more books. Oddly enough, the more she tries to draw you away from the curtains, the more alluring they become. Examine the strange cage-like trinket. You see some kind of charm. An irregular polyhedron assembled from bones, sticks and straw. Inside, a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets stares at you. What the fuck? This is a traditional Seminese ward, meant to provide protection against ill luck, bad dreams, curses, and other supernatural scourges. And who are the Seminese? Inhabitants of Ile de Fantôme, the Seminine Islands down south. Aside from poking at it suspiciously, there is nothing else to do with the fish head charm at this time. The curtains remain shut before you. I'm gonna ignore those for a little bit more. I wanna look around up here before I offend her deeply and she's gonna throw me These out. These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. You see the name Dick Mullen <laughs> over and over. Storekeep, what's all this crime fiction? Oh, crime, robberies, murders, even sexual crimes. We're fortunate to have Dick Mullen and his stories to sort all that out. <laughs> You're a, a police officer. Apparently, you should buy all of these. They really do teach a person how to be a proper detective. 
Maybe I'll learn a thing or two. Look through the display. Crime fiction is a disgrace. An asinine misrepresentation of the physical attributes of the arduous everyday work of actual police officers. These books greatly overstate the excitement of police work, glossing over how long it takes to actually follow up on leads and eliminate dead mm -hmm. ends. What's more, they completely ignore the psychological hardships of year after year coming into contact with people during the worst days of their lives. Mm. Yeah, true. Lots of trauma dumping too, I wager. Not a single mention of all the stress this work creates upon the officer's family. Detective fiction just doesn't tell the truth at all. Now, would you like a list of all the books found on the shelf? Oh god, no. Shelves filled to the brim with crime novels featuring the supposedly stalwart Vespertine detective Dick Mullen. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I like these options. Oh god, no. A quaint picture book brochure. Very colorful. It's a tome of fascist magic, rather candid. The plaque on the shelf reads, Biographies of Famous People. You see a large variety of names, none of which ring a bell. Storekeep, anything of note in the shelf? I would say... The Greatest Innocence. Yes, most certainly. It's an important educational tool delving into the depths of history, religion, and their relation to innocentic power. Who or what is an innocence? Great, I don't need to know anymore. A very influential historical figure. But surely I don't have to tell you that. You're a law officer, and law officers have at least some education. Uh, at least, yeah, the a little bit. The book is also very daring. The author aims to re-examine the universal understandings of the innocentic system, creating a fresh vantage point and a shift in the tired order of things. I thought it was about which of these innocences is the coolest and greatest, so you recommend it? Great, I don't need to know anymore. So you recommend it? Certainly. It's prudent for a person to have at least an elementary understanding of history and society. Imagine the chaos we'd be in otherwise. I have a feeling that I could buy these books and get, um, if I read them, maybe a skill point in certain areas, like this one. Uh, I don't know, maybe Encyclopedia. You feel like you should get this one. Definitely. It's important somehow. There's something personal inside. Should I get this? We have education. Hmm, so my Inland Empire says that I should actually buy this. Always trust Inland Empire. I mean, it's 470, and I'm still so far away from actually being able to pay off my my debt in the in the in the hostel. Greatest Innocence book. Oh boy. All right. A true cultural touchstone. Enjoy the read. Browsing through all the books with all their names makes your head spin. None of these seem important or relevant. It's all just vapid egoism. Suddenly, a particularly odd title catches your eye. It reads, High Speed Love, The Tragic True Love Story of Jacob Irv and Alfie Delatraz by one Cecilia Averbrook. What's it about? High Speed Love chronicles the romance between two of the finest tip-top tournay races in history. One of them is the madcap driver, Jacob Irv. Madcap His blonde Irv. mane graces the cover. Your blonde mane. Next to Irv's life story, you see a slim biography of an occidental rock star called the Anti-Star. He's famous for shooting morphine into one of his eyeballs and cocaine into the other. That sounds incredibly dangerous. Next to that, Rivasholian radio personality Guillaume Bevy stands in front of a rundown drug den. He's a permanent fixture on Channel 8, reporting on real life crime and ruining cops' days. Mm, like mine. I really must insist you buy one of the books. Reading them is not for free. Do still browse, though, but not too long. She I understands she was dead against the customer and immediately corrects course. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I did not mean to rush you. You are browsing. Go ahead. Take your time. Time is commerce. Yes, ma'am. What's this? 
Several maps have been attached to a bulletin board hidden inside the alcove. They're held up by small pins. The board has come loose from one corner. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map of Insulinda, a map of Revachol, and a map of Martinez. Look at the map of Martinez. It's not really a map. It's a tourist thing. A picture postcard with buildings on it, drawn from an isometric perspective. A date in the upper right corner says 48. Still, it's detailed. Could be pretty useful for scouting ahead. You see the jagged boxes of an industrial harbor, even the whirling in rags there. Can I buy these maps? I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you could scarcely afford them. Oof. They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. Why is the one of Martinez so cheap? That old thing. It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up four or five years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. Mm -hmm. The place does not look like a successful tourist trap, does it? What happened then? They didn't get that far, for some reason. A shame the project never got going. Would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. All these ruins are bad for business. Yeah, they are. Steal it instead? No, 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 no. Always good to be informed of your surroundings. Yeah. I don't know if I should look at the other maps. I don't think they're really interesting for me right now since I'm not really there. Martinez is my this immediate surrounding. This is though. not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. Ooh, paranatural literature. Look through the shelf. Amidst the various books, you find one written by someone named Matthias W. Dundas. It's about wholeness, unity, balance. Mm -hmm. These three things are very important to the working class mind. The point of the book, and many others on this shelf, is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health services. Uh, how does that work? It serves platitudes while also telling everyone that traditional medicine, the kind people don't have access to, and which costs more than this book, is garbage and would only give you cancer anyway, without even curing your cold or anything. <laughs> Wholeness, unity, balance, on the other hand, can basically take care of anything. Though it is important to note that when it's up to your mind to heal yourself, then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. Does the book say anything else? The book features chapters on topics such as how to find magnesium. It even lists plants you can harvest magnesium from. How to continue drinking if you're an alcoholic who has destroyed his liver. And... This book is basically teaching me how I can still just be an alcoholic. I want to be that person. I want to change my character. I want him to be happy. There's even a chapter on the ancient Serais tradition of using duck gold bladder preservatives to treat and prevent sexually transmitted diseases. Pre and post factum apply. Nothing worth buying. What? <laughs> what? This is just mundane garbage. What's even paranatural about this? Find something truly otherworldly. The throbbing in your head increases with every passing moment you gaze at this shelf. Suddenly, as if out of nowhere, a small green book becomes apparent. The title of it reads, Medicinal Purposes of the Pale. What's the pale? The book contains very little explanation on the matter. This knowledge seems to be taken for granted. What's the book about? The book contains descriptions of various pseudoscientific therapies alternative medicines and folk remedies involving the pale, also known as le territoire. For example, it recommends vigorously swatting one's naked body with a venic or hand broom, made from the leafy twigs of a young birch tree from the near pale. Sounds painful, sounds invigorating, sounds painful. It is supposedly invigorating and good for the circulation. Okay, what else? 
It also recommends consuming distilled spirits like vodka or whiskey that have been aged in the pail. Readers are instructed to cover these jars in a shallow hole just inside the pail and leave them there for 30 to 60 days, depending on the potency desired. And what does this pale aged liquor do? Among other benefits, it is alleged to restore a damaged liver to perfect health. Can I, can I cure my liver with this? That seems improbable. I should probably get my hands on some of that. What else is in there? How's that possible? Is it any more improbable than anything else that human beings put their faith in? Fair enough. What else is in there? For general health and well-being, readers are encouraged to take regular strolls through the pal. Though a sidebar cautions readers to limit each stroll to less than an hour. These strolls the promise to cleanse the mind of worries and the body of toxins, especially if the perambulator performs this ritual in the nude. Nudity figures prominently in a number of these prescriptions. Sounds good. This is exactly what you need. Huh? Anything else of note? There's an entire section devoted to cures for men who are struggling to perform their marital obligations. Well, I certainly don't need that. You close the book and return it to its place on the shelf. All right, I want to buy medi medicinal purposes of the pale. No, no, thanks. What's down here? Another boring book, just discarded here. All right. I think we, oh, hang on, what's this? Everyone knows the most interesting thing about fascists was their magic. I got the book, The Greatest Innocence. The Greatest Innocence by Joao Paulo Salomão Lopez de Fuego. The book is large and heavy. Crack open this immense tome. Browsing through the various chapters, you try your best to understand the ceaseless overflow, the sprawl of names, dates, places, events historical. Most of it ends up as a twisted mass of facts inside your brain. Okay. Your educational survey is done. Did you catch any of that? No. Oh well. It's pop quiz time. Let's see what you've learned. This might take a few minutes. You ready? No, I'm not. I'm not ready right now. Disappointing. You'll never get anywhere with that attitude. Put the book away. <laughs> but what about this? The worn mat features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions to appropriately touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Trace a path through the grid. Your finger moves through the various streets, across Rue de Songis Lane and Rue saint Sipa, over saint Brun and Martinez North, finally coming to a halt on the spot where you are currently standing. Although the map gives no such indication itself. For a more detailed view of the map, go to your journal and select the map tab. Nice. What? These are found white checks. Those are where I remember. But, 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 oof. Oh, there it is. Policeman cloak. Uh huh. Church. Fisherman checks. Martinez waterfront. Oh, we are here right now. But we can go over here as well, apparently. But we need to get over to the to the harbor place. I don't know how interesting and necessary this is. I'm gonna. It said it said it's gonna take a few minutes, so we're gonna deeply interact with this book of innocence next time gladly the the map interaction didn't take too long also i need to talk to the woman i guess i bet she has some information of some sort the her, her daughter who's standing outside selling books in the cold was talking about her mother so maybe we can talk to her directly and say hey your kid is standing outside freezing or anything of that sort anyways i think this is a good moment to stop it here we thoroughly investigated this place oh wait i actually also wanted to go through the curtain here 
which we also have to do, but that will have to wait until next time, guys. I don't know if I'm making any progress at all. I feel like maybe maybe this is just how the the game plays out. Maybe this is just the normal speed of things, but I feel like I'm being very slow. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like I feel like maybe there are connections that I don't see, or maybe there is... Maybe I forgot about little nudges the characters gave me earlier, and I don't know. Like I'm, I, I still haven't been to the harbor. The body is still hanging there, but I kind of figured, okay, this is the body taking down the body is probably for another day, and we are still on day number one. It's not even 8 p.m. of day number one, so who knows? But yeah, we will continue with this on Friday, guys. Uh, if you want to watch the full playthrough, make sure to hit the follow button so you don't miss out.